I am talking about procrastination, that huge big bug there that everybody suffers from and everybody wants a solution to. So to understand procrastination, to conquer procrastination, we have to first see where it comes from. And to do that, we have to understand our brain. So our brain is a remarkable piece of equipment. We know this. Um, and it is a enormous and highly advanced information gathering system. All it does is it scans, it uses our five senses, even the senses we aren't fully aware of, and it gathers all of this information and it puts it into the data bank. However, and this is the most important factor to understand, is that our brains are inherently lazy, okay? Because they are constantly functioning, constantly gathering data, constantly churning that data out, turning it into information, systems, judgments, knowledge, um, experience, and all of these things that we need to function, our brain is primarily uh, focused about conservation of energy. Because if our brain doesn't conserve its energy, it's probably going to frizzle out and that's it, uh, brain fart. So our brains always seek the simplest, fastest, easiest, and less energy expending solution for all of its functioning and it does this by forming habits okay so once you performed a task and that task has been repeated enough times it then gets recorded in our muscles as muscle memory and it records gets recorded in our brain as a habit okay so that your brain doesn't have to keep relearning the same thing right so what our brain does is it creates it puts the energy in to learn something new. Once it's learned it, puts it in the memory bank, and we have a whole catalog of habits that we can then draw from, and our brain can then move on to something new. So things like learning to ride a bicycle. You don't have to learn it again every single time you do it. It's there, it's done, you know how to do it. Brushing your teeth, driving your car, all the mundane tasks of everyday living, they have all become habitual. Your brain has turned them into habits so that it doesn't have to work hard, okay? In a nutshell, our brains are super lazy. Now, present day living, um, and you've decided you want to try something new. You want to shake up your old routine, shake up your old habits. Uh, perhaps you want to get healthier, you want to start a gym program, you want to wake up a little bit earlier, you want to change your relationships, your relationship with money, with people, with yourself, you name it. You now want to do something new, okay? You want to start a new business, you want to go after that goal that you've been dreaming about, hoping for. The second you input that command in your brain, what happens? Your brain scans that catalog of habits and it goes, hang on a second, this is something new. We don't have this in the, in the habit memory bank. Um, I don't particularly feel like doing this. And then what happens? Your brain starts convincing you that it is a bad idea. And it goes, do you really want this? Are you really worth that goal? Maybe you should start tomorrow. Maybe we should think about it. You know, the timing's not quite right. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough support. I don't have enough experience. So all of this uh, justification and reasoning that your brain is throwing at you is not truth, okay? It's not true that you don't have enough time, you don't have enough resources, you don't have enough support, you don't have enough experience, skill, wisdom, talent. All of these thoughts um, that your brain is throwing at you is not true. All it is, is your brain being super, 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 super fucking lazy and trying to convince you not to make it work. Because if you had to force your brain to work, that means it would have to get out of its lazy, sleepy, habitual mode and would now have to learn new information, new skills, new routine. And for that period of time, while your brain is processing that and turning it into a new habit, it has to work hard, right? It's uncomfortable. It's something new. So that is where procrastination has the power to stop you. Okay, if you're not aware of this functioning, if you're not aware that it's actually not true, all these things that your brain is telling you, if you get stuck in those justifications and the reasoning, all right, of a lazy brain, you start to believe these things. And what happens? You never move forward. You never go after those goals. You never get out of your comfort zone, take risks, try something new. And then another morning you wake up, 
If you haven't done it, you feel bad about yourself. And then not only are you believing all these thoughts that your brain is throwing at you, you now have the emotional deluge to go with that. Feelings of shame, of guilt, of unworthiness, of what is wrong with me? Why can other people do it and I can't? The thing is, you can do it. And if you are aware that your biggest obstacle is not whether you are capable or not, because we know you are capable, your biggest obstacle is just understanding the brain's functioning, okay, remember, conservation of energy. Your brain doesn't want to work. If you can understand that functioning and disassociate yourself from that, okay, then when those thoughts come up, when that resistance comes up, okay, those excuses come up, then you can stop, you can disassociate yourself from it, you can recognize it and you can go, I choose not to listen. Okay, not to say that it's going to be any easier because you still have to get up earlier. You still have to try something new. You still have to get out of your comfort zone and be in a space and in an experience that you are not familiar with, okay? That's the next, the next challenge for you. But if you can stick to it for a week and then two weeks, 14 days, your brain is now comfortable. Your brain has now stored the experience that you forced it to do for the last two weeks. And then your brain goes, okay, I get this. I'm not going to turn this into a habit. And before you know it, you don't have to fight yourself anymore. Okay. And if you can keep at that process, if you can keep at it for a year, two years, three years, before you know it, it doesn't even happen anymore. Okay. And I have been there. Um, I have been a slave to the thoughts that it, they were bombarding me. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. No, tomorrow is not an option. Today is the time. Today is the opportunity, the desire, the experience, um, and your time. And while I say it gets easier and easier, because now when I want to start something new, I literally start it. And there might be like a little background kind of fog, kind of little uprising happening over there. And I sometimes I'm aware of it. Most of the time I ignore it because it doesn't affect me anymore because I've learned to move past that kind of lazy brain. So procrastination, guys, procrastination doesn't actually exist. All it is, is your brain trying to convince you not to start a new habit. And if you can get through the, that initial resistance, okay, it gets easier and easier. And before you know it, you are going after your goals and you are accomplishing what you set out to do. But you can help your brain ease into the discomfort of working, all right? And we do this by breaking the goal down, okay? So for example, let's use a common goal about wanting to lose a bit of weight, get healthier, um, start an exercise routine, all right? Instead of waking up, or going from nothing, right? Zero to hero. Instead of waking up, of having done nothing for years and expecting to be right in it five, uh, five times a week, every single day, five o'clock in the morning, you're setting yourself up for failure. What we want to do is we want to trick the brain into not realizing how much effort it needs to put in, okay? So what you do is you, for the first week, all you do is you wake up earlier, all right? So let's say that you're, you normally wake up at six. To fit in your new exercise regime, you now have to wake up at 5.30. For the first week, you're not gonna go to gym. But what you are gonna do is wake up half an hour earlier, all right? So you're being gentle on the new information that your brain has to process. Week two, it's so much easier to wake up at 5.30. Now you're dressed, now you can go to gym. The resistance to trying something new is far less, okay? You don't even have to go every day, you can go three times a week. Week three, waking up at 5.30, easy, done, habit, sorted. Um, getting into that, uh, getting into your car, going to gym, getting into gym clothes, sorted. You know what? You can even put a little middle step in there. You can go to the gym, have a cup of coffee and leave. You don't even have to work out. All right. And the next week you can actually train. So work with yourself. OK, don't fight yourself. But at the same time, understand that all of the functioning of our human body, all right, the emotions that we feel, the thoughts that we think, the resistance that we feel, 90% of the time, it's not the true you, it's not your soul, it's not your essence, it's not the beautiful, magnificent, untouchable you, all right? All it is, is this primal being trying to function. And when we can really see ourselves, right, in that light, and when we can truly intellectually understand, recognize, and work with the system, right, that we find ourselves in, that's when you start seeing remarkable change in your life. 
So try that out this week, all right? Choose one goal that you have been resisting, that you've been procrastinating on. Write it down and break down the steps about how your routine, how your habits are going to have to change and then break it down. Week one, how can you slip this new goal into your routine, these new habits into your routine? Week two, how can you build on it? And so on and so on. And you can do this, guys. Don't let a lazy, lazy, lazy brain. In fact, that is your mantra. Every single time that you have that resistance, that fear, those excuses, say to yourself, lazy brain, I'm not listening. Okay, but be gentle with yourself. Work with yourself, okay? I hope that gave you value. I hope you think about this. Go meditate on it. Discuss it with your friends. And I really hope that that helps you move forward in your goals. Thank you so much for watching.